Good morning, traders. It's Tuesday, November 12th. We're about a half an hour into trading. We've got the market moving higher. You can see here we broke through that double top at 302 on the SPY. We've been floating higher on light volume, low level of conviction. First, with a bad news, you're going to see a big red candle that probably comes back and tests that 302 level. But until we get that, we're going to stay bullish. We have a lot of bullish put spreads that we've been putting on during the course of the last month. Those are going to expire this Friday. We're going to wait on the sidelines and then we're going to reload. But I am going to show you some great day trades that you can be getting on right now. So I see the market is drifting higher. We do have Donald Trump addressing the Economic Council of New York today. He's going to be presenting at lunchtime. So we need to be very mindful of that because one whiff the trade negotiations have stalled and the market will pull back. It's looking for any kind of news that it can latch on to. And we read over the weekend that he may not pull tariffs back as much as China would like. So that would be a possible negative news event later today. But for right now, everything looks good. Go into the five minute chart. You can see lots of long green candles closing on their high. Excellent. Let's take a look at the 1OP indicator, see how it did yesterday. You had this nice little bounce on the open. You had a cross right in here. So it told you that you should be watching to take profits. We get this little pullback right here. As I mentioned, you draw your downward trend line. You wait for that bullish cross. Where did we get it? Right here. What a beautiful, beautiful entry point in a very low volume market. So you start getting a negative cross in here. So you know that things are starting to get a little heavy, but you wait for this uptrend line to be breached get a little bit of a short in here, but not much of one. And then the market really just kind of compressed within about a two point range for most of the day. So in light volume, uh, you're not gonna find too many indicators that do well, but this one is all I use. Look at this cross right here this morning. Boom, told you get in and stay long. So now we're gonna be watching for the cross on the negative side, and that's gonna be an indication that we need to take profits on our stocks. We need to look for a possible rollover in the SPY. You start drawing your trend line up like this. This would be a little bit too steep for me, but I would certainly put a alert right here. So I'm gonna click alert, I'm gonna click on the bottom of that candle, get a little horizontal res uh, line right here. It'll always let me know what the market's doing. I'm going to put you into the chat room. You can see what's going on there. This is included in Option Stock. I'm going to go back to the open. There are my opening comments this morning, right out of the gate, one minute in. I like AMRN. Disney looks good. Bullish put spread. Use that 100-day moving average. I like Roku. Abbott came up. Abbott broke through a downtrend line alert that I had set on a GTC basis. It's above the 100-day moving average. I like it for a bullish put spread using that 100-day moving average. Long ACAD, 10 minutes into the open, offering at 47 on ACAD. I like DXC, bought DXC, offering that at 32.30. I, excuse me, bought it at 32.30, offering at 33. TSN nice, through the 100-day, watching Shaq. These are the stocks that we like today. Took gain on DXC, hit my target. Took a nice gain on ACAT, hit my target. Bidding for Shack, bought Shack at 32, or excuse me, 63.20, offering at 64. I'm putting my entry, putting my exit in the chat room. So you know what I'm doing constantly. You have to find these trades early in the day. You got to find them right out of the gate. I use Option Stalker to do that. These are the searches that you should be using too if you're a day trader. Go to www.oneoption.com, spell it all out. Option Stalker includes the chat room that I just showed you. You can find your trades on your own using those searches, which I highly suggest you do. You can go into the chat room and find the trades there as well. If you like this YouTube video, please give it a thumbs up by all means. If you're an active trader, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post this video an hour after the open every day. And just like today, every single one of them has great stocks to trade. These are the hot stocks that you should be focusing on. So let's go find some for today. I've highlighted a couple of them. You can see SPY right here starting to pull back a little bit. I'm gonna go into my heavy buying search. One of my favorites, there's AMRN. Really nice breakout early, nice profits early. You had to be in here. And we saw it five minutes. I, I think I posted it a minute after the open. 
Well, it went from 1970 to about 2070. That's a $1 gain. You get in, you get out. ACAD, I show you what I did on that one. That was right out of the gate as well. Got in right here, placed my limit order, got out right here, made a really nice profit of about 80 cents on that one. DXC, found that one on an earnings search, bought that one right in here, shot higher, had my limit working at $33, made 70 cents on that one as well. So really nice trade there as well. How did I find DXC? I went into after earnings search, boom. These stocks announced after the close yesterday or before the open today. Went into the daily chart. Loved that horizontal breakout through resistance. After earnings, that's what the A represents. You could see the gap higher. So really, really nice price action there. So let's keep taking a look at some of the stocks that I highlighted that I really like. And I also use relative strength 30. These are the stocks that have strength relative to the overall market. Nice. Ring. Looks good. Spot. Wouldn't touch that. Want to see it start coming up through that downward trend line. I'm just clicking through, see if I can find some others real quick, because there's some new candidates in here. WW got pounded right there. Looks like it's coming back to fill in the gap. Not too crazy about that. So let me go right into what I do like. Roku. Love that. Off the 100-day moving average, you can sell that bullish put spread on that 100-day moving average. It's been highlighted recently. It's filling in the gap after earnings right there. Looks good. AMRN, I think I already showed you that. That looks good. Yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video, I highlighted AMRN. I could see the heavy volume coming in. We have to have heavy volume right now. We could find it on a five-minute basis. I could run a scan right now and tell you stocks that had a volume spike in the last five minutes. You combine that with other search criteria using custom search. It's gold right now. Right there, heavy volume. I can find it on a daily basis for the time that's already elapsed today and mark that box, or I can look for heavy volume in the last five minutes on any stock. I can look for heavy volume on a 15-minute basis for any stock. Click scan, boom, look at all these stocks with heavy volume. Hey, I like options. I want to trade options. So let's go look for some good option liquidity. Mark that box, boom, there's your stocks. These are all on heavy volume. Hey, I want to be bullish. Okay, let's find a stock that's above the prior day high and heavy volume and liquid options there are your stocks that easy that's how easy it has to be so you can jump on these right away because the market is not in a long-term trend during the course of the day the stock has to do everything on its own because you're not getting a market tailwind right now so we had a nice little lift in the market right now let's see what's going on with the s p get to the five minute chart We've got that little alert right there in case it rolls over. We'll put that 1OP indicator back up. See how it's still going higher? Not giving us a warning sign yet. It may. We'll see. Now we can start drawing some trend lines as we get more data points. I'd like to have it be a little bit short, shallower and not quite so steep. So we'll leave this one up there for a bit. We'll keep looking at some more stocks. Abbott. I use that downward sloping trend line on a GTC basis. I click GTC. I dropped it from here all the way down across these tops. Actually, it came in across these tops as well. And today I got the alert and it's above the 100 day moving average. Now, because I did my due diligence as I saw charts that I liked, I started dropping these GTC alert lines. If I do that, then the trades are going to come to me. That is the key. If you put a little bit of time in while you see a good chart, you're going to have opportunities coming to you all day long. And here we go. Love that bullish put spread using that 100-day moving average. You've got a nice uptrend here as well. So I like Abbott. DXC, I showed you. Shaq. Shaq came up on a heavy volume search this morning. Look at this. You've got this big drop after earnings below the 200-day moving average. I do not like this for swing trading. I had to say that because I know I have swing traders that watch a video. I do like it on a day trading basis because you get this little bullish hammer right here off the low, heavy volume, stock opens above the prior day's high, and right now it is on the high. And I got my $64 offer working right now. We might hit it. 
I bought it at 63.20. That would be a really nice 80 cent winner, just like that. So I like Shaq also. ACAD. Let's see what that's doing. It's another stock that I like. Yes, it's continuing to move higher. Love this breakout through horizontal resistance. So you get the big gap up after earnings. Stock spent some time compressing. Now we've got the horizontal breakout and we've got follow through. So this stock looks like it wants to continue to go higher. I'm going to click on heavy buying, scan the list. This is nice. T T D. If it can get through that 100 day moving average, we know we got the volume. Just looking at SRPT. Don't like the fact that it's not been able to recover from the earlier high, but it is starting to grind higher. And there's your earnings. So not bad. Bang. Just going to click through, see if I see anything else. That's a nice breakout. VOD, Vodafone. Cisco. Nothing big there, but getting through this downtrend line right here. DD. Trying to get through the 200-day moving average. Choppy stock. Not interested. Uber. A mm, couple of bullish hammers. Tails under body. Not bad. Probably will fill in this little gap. Take a look at the five-minute. Not overly excited with it. But we've got plenty of other good stocks that we just looked at. So I would stick with the ones that I've already shown you. And... You can also go through some of these right here. Disney, I did also mention, I want to show you that Disney chart. That's another great bullish put spread right above that 100-day moving average. There's your earnings announcement after the close. Gaps higher, comes back, tests the 100-day moving average. Sell bullish put spreads on Disney using that 100-day moving average. They're starting their live streaming service to compete with Netflix, I believe, today. So good news behind it. Those are the picks for today. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. You get the notifications right away when I post these videos. These are the stocks that you want to search for and, and trade today. Option Stalker is how we found them. www.oneoption.com. Please give the content a thumbs up if you like it. We'll see you tomorrow.